What's up guys and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and we're here today playing another episode of Rogue Legacy. I don't really know how long this LP is going to go on. I think I'll probably play it until it's no longer enjoyable. I guess will be the point at which I'll consider letting it run off the rails a tad, but we got to choose ourselves an heir here, so let's do it. So, she's automatically off the table. The trait Vertigo makes everything upside down and reversed, which makes the game almost unplayable. I'm not- I know it was probably added as a joke, but really, it's a worthless trait. The second you get that, you know you're not gonna pick that person, ever. Let's see who else we have. We have an assassin, which is very cool, because we are going to make a run at... Oh, who are we gonna do today? I think Ponce de Leon, so I'm gonna go with the assassin. I believe it said she was OCD. I'll read the traits to you in just a moment, but let's handle the first little bit of our statistic manipulation here. Let me make sure there's nothing that I want to grab off the vendor here real fast. We're going to want to build for life drain again. Let's make sure that, let's see here, we want to get rid of our curse runes because our curse run is now over. And that was what we did in the last episode as a little bit of a recap. We spent the last episode kind of messing around with curse runes, seeing how much more treasure we could get during the overall playthrough. But I think for now we're going to abandon that castle and go find another princess and then we'll put everything into life drain for the time being. I think Ponce de Leon spawns little fire guys. I don't remember properly, actually. It's been quite a while since I attempted him last, so I'm not giving you any guarantees right here. If he doesn't have ads, then the life drain thing is a little bit of a waste. We should curse Rune up. But if he does have ads, it's going to be useful, and so I'm just going to take the chance on it. I absolutely don't remember. I probably should have checked before I did any of this, to be completely honest. What do we have here? Sage limbs, silver limbs. Let's go with the Ranger's Limbs, I guess. That'll give us a little bit of extra magic, which will help us out during this fight, because we are going to be using his Mist Form pretty frequently. Everything else appears to be more or less on par, so I'm happy with our build right now. We've got a nice brown type deal going on with our overall kit. We're going to go with some mana up for this run, I think, because I want to use his special, or her special, pretty extensively during the course of this fight. It is going to be my oh shit button, or my oh shit handle. If you guys have heard me talk before, you'll know that that's the handle, like in a car that's up by the window, so that when your friend decides to do something idiotic, it's what you grab out of reflex. So we also want to create a little bit more crit chance, I think. Actually... Let's increase the crit damage a tad, I think, because we're playing a character right now who's going to get a big benefit out of critting. And so this build may not work out for us. I'm not promising a kill right now. It has been a long time. I'm also playing with a busted finger at the moment, which makes every moment holding this controller a little bit painful. But I do it because I love you guys. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. A little bit. Yay! But in any case, let's move on in. We're going to want to head up to the Maya since this is not a gear run. We want to make sure that we just get there as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So let's swing up through here. I've been playing Super House of Dead Ninjas. I've been avoiding it because it's totally throwing off my Rogue Legacy game. It really is. Okay, we've got a double jump. That's fine. As long as we've got a double jump going on, hopefully we can find the Maya pretty quickly. I... Ooh, 162 damage critical. That is the gorgeous type of damage that I like to see. That is an impressive display of kick-assery. I don't think I've ever seen this room before. I am unfamiliar with this location. There we go. I don't think I've ever seen this configuration before. That's interesting. So we're not going to crit all the time, but we are going to try and crit as much as possible. I'm not going to leave a chest behind. I know I said our goal here was to get to the Maya as quickly as possible. But I am going to leave myself a little bit of room to grab any treasure chests that we come across, because why not? If we end up killing off our nasty adversary, Ponce de Leon, we should find ourselves in the enviable position of being able to go on a loot run. So let's... Oh, God. This room is probably going to cost me a little bit of HP. I can't guarantee it, but we're going to try to move as quickly up these... There we go. All right, so we're going to try and get out of... Oh, there's no door up here. I was really hoping that there would be. I mean, I'm not going to turn down treasure or anything. I don't think we're going to outrun that one all the way down to the bottom. So we're going to have to go back down and around over here, presumably. Get rid of him. I don't know what our crit chance was. I think it's sitting at a reasonable rate. We don't hit very hard. But the reason I decided to bring the knave or the assassin for this playthrough is because his and her ability is completely... It allows you to walk through collision and things of that nature, so when you should get hit, you turn into mist, and it keeps you knife and or knife, it keeps you nice and safe from any type of damage. So it's a really good ability. The only balancing factor is the fact that you take a lot of damage with the nave, and so you're gonna have to live with that. But if you're playing on your precise A game, you should be okay as long as you can land the hits. Hopefully this will put us somewhere near the Maya. I feel like we're going with an upward bent here. 
All right, and hopefully this doesn't become too much of a white knuckle run. I would hate for this to be like my clandestine meetings in the alleyway with my clients, but if it does, then I guess we'll just have to live with that entire thing. God, I hate it when I'm in the middle of an LP and my nose like starts to itch, and it's never like the type of itch that you can just ignore. It's just like, itch me now. It's like a really big deal of an itch. Ooh, okay, so we don't have enough damage to kill him off with one swipe. We may have to play this very, very close to the chest for the time being, just to make sure that we... Ooh, I almost took a hit right there. All right. So if I have to, I will retreat before the fight. Oh, good. We got food. Never mind. I'm not going to have to. Now, if we can keep landing criticals, this isn't going to be bad, because you guys know my rule. As long as you can one-shot everything in an area, you should be okay. Ah. Not a fan of what just happened right there. I didn't have a lot of room to play with, so I guess I'll live with it for the... Ah. Got another enemy dense room. See how many of them that I can take out in the first place. This is a fairy chest room, so I am going to dedicate myself to actually clearing the whole thing out. Luckily, what they like to do with these rooms sometimes in the Maya is they'll actually stack these little guys right here that throw these little blobules up in the air. That becomes an issue. Who else do we have left? Oh, we probably have a... Yeah. A Doomscape, unfortunately. So the Doomscape is a little bit upgraded. He shoots in four directions, which can be... Scary, if you're not ready for it. Got ourselves a little bit of mana there. Realistically, our HP should not matter too much. A haste rune. Okay, cool. I don't think our HP should matter too much since we have an instant out on any projectiles and things of that nature. There we go, a double crit. That's the kind of action that I like to see. Ooh, god. Alright, so I don't want to go up in there just yet. We have Knives as an ability too, which is going to help us out, although I don't think we've worked on our magic damage enough yet to really have the Knives be a substantial amount of damage that we're going to be dealing against Ponce de Leon. But it's something. It's something. Insert little meme. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy right here. Oh, and they're on both sides. Ah, I was going to get hit by something right there. That was one of those rooms that you know you're just going to get nailed somehow. All right, and so that landing was more than perfect. That was about the way that I wanted to land. Ooh, it looks like we found ourselves another room. Oh, no. So this is a problem. We want to get the hell out of here right now. Oh, God. All right, so I don't know if this room is actually going to be surmountable if we're planning on doing boss runs of any type. Yeah, let's go back down into the newbie area and see if we can get ourselves a little bit more health back. Otherwise, this run is more than definitely going to be a bust at this point. I should be using the ability a little bit more, but I don't really know when we're going to run out of mana. So I'm a little apprehensive to use the mist form before we get much further in. So we don't want that room either. There it is. There's the boss room. All right, so now that we have the boss room unlocked, what we're going to do... Is something that I find myself doing before all boss runs. We're going to head back and we're going to try and get ourselves kitted out in the earlier zone by using the teleport. We're going to go back to the entrance. We're going to kill as many mobs as possible. And now that we have the teleport unlocked, we can go straight back to the boss. And that should work out in our favor. The Maya is a zone that typically in my heyday, meaning two weeks ago when I was still playing the game every three seconds. And we've got a big old portrait in here, don't we? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, let's destroy some of the candelabras here. Get rid of those deal with the rest of these guys see if we can get a couple chicken legs to drop very nice just see what kind of loot we can kind of siphon out of this entire area that guy's a gambler I'm not gonna use him right now what he does we haven't run into him as of yet during the course of this let's play but what he does is he charges you I believe a third of your gold and if you manage to guess the right chest out of three you get yourself a hefty reward which is more than worth the one-third gold investment However, he is a little bit of a pain. I've only selected correct once, and I've never been much of a gambler when it comes to things like that. I've, I prefer like card games, things of that nature. I do enjoy roulette at times, but I don't know. I just don't like picking chests. I've just never had any luck with it, unfortunately. I was gonna say, somebody here has gotta be one of those portraits. And he'll give us a little bit of XP to play, or I'm sorry, a little bit of HP to play with. We are slowly sucking our way back to victory. God, that's awful. That is just horrific. 
But we are getting our HP back, so, you know, sometimes you gotta work a little bit harder than normal just to get everything back to the ideal position before you go after the- Oh no, that's not ideal, that's not ideal at all. I'm outie. I am outie. Okay, so now we've got the entrance to another zone, so we got a little bit more health. I'd love to go in with full health. How much is my mist? Okay, it cost me about five per half second. Alright, so I was trying to see what my investment is gonna be here for... Alright, there we go. We got that chest out of the way, a little bit more gold in case we die, so at least we get something done on this run. Let's see, I love how we have like black smoke behind us. I wish I had that when I would go to work sometimes, just keep people away from me for the entire day. Like, dude, you're smoking again. I know, I'm in a bad mood. A little bit more gold right here. Loverly. We'll grab that, and then let's check these last couple rooms. All we need is like one more chicken leg, and we should be okay. There we go. So I don't think 6 HP is going to make or break the victory. It might. I mean, if I'm completely unlucky, it might. But let's see what we can get going here. I haven't done this fight in a long time. I haven't looked at any strategies in quite a while, so we'll have to see how this plays out. I remember him being a pain. I think he does like a chargey thing. So this may be a little bit of a, a death try right here. I don't remember how quick he is either. Yeah, so there's the death chargey thing. He also, yeah, okay, he lays the fireballs down on the ground, which was the main reason why I wanted to bring along the mist form, because it allows me to do that. I was gonna hit something there. I was gonna get hit by something there either way. Ooh, I got hit by a spiky ball. That's weak. All right, so we're pretty well, oh, those spiky balls are really getting all up in my business. I love Ponce de Leon's music, by the way. It's one of my favorite boss fight musics. It's the most memorable, anyways. Hopefully we don't have any fireballs down here, yeah. So we're gonna wait for him to charge. You always want to keep upward momentum on your DPS, always. If you're not DPSing, you cannot possibly be winning, is one of my big pieces of advice here, and my accuracy's a little off. We're gonna have to bait him a tad. The crits are gonna work out in our favor, I think, though. I've only got a couple hits left in us, so I do want to be careful. I would hate to die at this point, but there he goes. And so I guess my memory held up well enough for the time being. We'll try and clear out the rest of the zone. Got a nice little grip of gold there, like 5,000 or so. Let's see what we got out of our bonus chest. Two health and magic damage increase. I will take it. There's also... No, don't teleport me out! Oh well. There goes our glowy door. So the door is glowing a little bit more. Oh, it put us outside the boss room. I wasn't ready for that. Alright, well... I suppose we'll just live with the results. We don't have a ton of HP left. These are all gonna be Doom Trits, aren't they? Yeah. So let's see if we can... Well, I was trying to bait a crit out, but it just doesn't seem to want to give me any when I want them. Crits are one of those things where they don't seem to happen at any point where you would actually enjoy having a crit. And he is firing perfectly to keep me from getting him as he comes around. So I'm gonna have to, yeah, he's gonna get me anyways. There we go. So he's taken care of. Oh, there's another one. God. I really do hate those portraits. I don't think you guys truly appreciate how much I dislike those portraits. They are a giant pain. Got a little wolfy dude down there. Eh, not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it. I, I, I prefer that this maintain its sovereignty as a reasonably decent run without embarrassing myself entirely. Take out that little Oni guy right there. We're gonna have to make a quick move right there, just moving and shaking, just trying to get- Oh, he tried to sneak up on me, little bugger. Alright, so we got all that done. He does telegraph a little bit, so the Onis typically- I call them Onis, I don't know if that's what they actually are. I know that's not their- Oh, god, I jumped right into that one. Unfortunate. Well, that was the- This I'm gonna cut this one a little bit shorter, because I don't think I have actually time to do another loot run. I'm gonna cut this one a little short, and I'm just gonna designate this one as our Ponce de Leon kill. And so, my name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here, this is the Ponce de Leon episode of our Rogue Legacy walkthrough, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you were able to glean some type of information from it, I didn't really have to use the mist walk too much, I thought I was going to have to use it a little bit more, our dodging skills were a little weak in the beginning, but in the end we managed to turn it out to pasture, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, I hope to see you guys next time, and take care out there everybody.